How to add square roots. This video tutorial can be found on our website, mathwarehouse.com slash add square root, where you can find some other goodies, including a free worksheet with answer key and many other problems worked out step by step. Okay, the goal of this tutorial is to be able to look at an expression like the one you see on the screen, square root of 18 plus square root of 20 plus square root of 8, and express it in simplest radical form. So before we attempt one of these problems, there's a little uh, prerequisite knowledge that we should go over. Um, first, uh, it's important that we can do something, like if you saw something like 3 root 2 plus 4 root 5 plus hmm, 7 root 2, it's important that you could simplify this. and you can only combine terms with common radicands. In other words, the, first off, the radicand is the number 2 here, or the number 5 in the middle term, and it's the number under the square root. So in this case, we could say 3 root 2 plus 7 root 2 is 10 root 2 plus 4 root 5. And, and then the rules are just like like terms. If I said, what is 3x plus 4y plus 7x, just replacing root 2 with x, root 5 with y, hopefully you're, you would know that the, this could be simplified to 10x plus 4y. And remember, the whole point of these variables, like x and y, is we could put any number in there and it would work. You put the number 1 and number 2, or if we wanted, we could put the number radical 2 in for x, radical 5 in for y, and what we would be able to do is combine like terms. So I'm just trying to point out that the, the same is true with radicals. You can combine radicals with the same radicand. Remember, radical 2 is a number. It's just it's an irrational number. Radical 5 is a number. So we can combine them um, just like we would combine any variable. Uh, so one more practice here. If, we, if I give you 3 root 11 plus 2 root 7 plus 4 root 7 plus 5 root 11. Let's simplify that. Here we've got 3 root 11 plus 5 root 11 giving us ele sorry, 8 root 11. And here we've got 2 root 7 plus 4 root 7 or 6 root 7. Okay, so and just a, a little reminder, all this is true, whatever's true for addition is also true for subtraction. So if it were 3 root 11 plus 2 root 7 plus 4 root 7 minus 2 root 11, you know, 2 plus 4 root 7 would still give us 6 root 7. However, we have 3 root 11 minus 2 root 11 would give us a, uh, you know, 1 root 11. 3 minus 2. Alright, so just, you know, that'll be an important part of solving today's problems is we can only combine like radicals. Okay, so now let's, um, let's look at the problem I initially showed on the screen at the beginning of this tutorial. <clears throat> Based on what I just told you, you, you might see a problem. As written, root 18, root 20, and root 8, we cannot combine any of them. We can't simplify them in any way because all of the radicands are different. We have 18, 20, and 8. So the first step is always going to be to simplify each radical. So the square root of 18, we could simplify to be the square root of 9 times the square root of 2. Plus the square root of 20, we could simplify to be the square root of 4, the square root of 5. And this would become the square root of 4 times the square root of 2. If you don't understand how I just went from the first state, the first thing to here, you really need to review simplifying radicals. That's another tutorial that we have on our website and, um, and on YouTube, so you can check it out if you need to, because um, that's a critical part of today's steps. All right, so going further, the square root of 9 is just 3, so we have 3 root 2 plus... 2 root 5 plus 2 root 2. All right, so step 1 was to simplify, and we're now done that. And step 2 is just to combine like radicals or like, ra or like square roots. 
or whatever you want to call them. 3 root 2 plus 2 root 2 is 5 root 2 plus 2 root 5. And that's it. We're done. This cannot be reduced any further. You cannot combine unlike radicals. So just a quick recap of the steps. Step 1 is to simplify, and then step 2 is to combine like radicals. Okay, let's try the problem on the screen. The square root of 27 plus square root of 20 minus root 12 plus square root of 45. If you remember, the first step is to simplify. Right. Simplify each radical. This becomes root 9 times root 3 plus, oh, that's not very legible square root of 4 times square root of 5 minus root 4 root 3 plus root 9 root 5. We're just simplifying. Um, so this becomes 3 root 3 plus 2 root 5 minus 2 root 3 plus 3 root 5. Alright, so we're done. Simplifi we simplified. Um, notice the only difference, by the way, is that we now have a, a subtraction sign. But like I was saying earlier, the rules for addition and subtraction are the same. All right, so do you remember the next step? All right, we now want to combine like radicals. And let's see, we've got a 3 root 3 here and a minus 2 root 3. And we've got a 2 root 5 here and a 3 root 5. So 2 root 5 plus 3 root 5 gives us 5 root 5s, square root of 5s. 3 root 3 minus 2 of these square root of 3s is just 1 root 3. Of course, you can just write it this way if you want, and, and we're done. Right? Simplify, combine like radicals. Pretty straightforward. Okay, let's try one more like this before we complicate it with co coefficients. Let's try the square root of 125 plus root 28 minus root 20 plus square root of 63. All right, you know the first step, simplify. This will become square root of 25, square root of 5, plus root 4 times root 7, minus root 4 root 5, plus root 9 root 7. All right, so it becomes 5 root 5 plus 2 root 7 minus 2 root 5 plus 3 root 7. Step 1, done. Simplify. Step 2, combine like radicals. 5 root 5 minus 2 root 5 will give us 3 root 5 plus 2 root 7 plus 3 root 7 is going to give us 5 root 7. And we're done. Okay, now let's see what happens when we want to combine or add square roots that have coefficients like a 4 and a 5. Now, keep in mind that the operation going on right here between the 4 and the, and the square root and the 5 and the square root is multiplication. So order doesn't matter, and we can group these any way we want. So we can think about this as 4 times the square root of 8 plus 5 times the square root of 18. And all I'm doing is using the fact that when we multiply, we can do things in any order we want. All we're doing is multiplying. Um, and then at the end, we'll add. But 4 root 8, and we've got 4 times root 8, let's just think about the square root of 8 individually. We can, in this case, when we have coefficients, that you still want to simplify first simplify the radical, right? Square root of 8, we did this earlier, so I'm not going to go through all the steps, but the square root of 8 becomes 2 root 2, and the square root of 18 becomes 3 root 2. Again, you can, you know, double check the simplification on your own, but that is how it that these two simplify. Because I just want to get to the, the the new part for us here. Since it's multiplication, we were able to simple we were able to deal with the square root of eight individually, just rewrite it. And now we've got four times two root two plus five times three root two. So we can just say four times two is eight root two plus five times three is fifteen root two. And 
now it looks like the problems we had before. We've got the same radicand, eight, we've got eight root twos and 15 root twos, and we can combine them to become 23 root two. Okay, so when you have a coefficient, you know, the thing to do is just to think about the radicals alone and kind of forget, it, forget about the coefficients at the beginning. Just simplify the radicals, then do the multiplication. And at the end, if you can, to combine um, any like radicals. So if you remember, I think a few problems back, we, we simplified this square root of 125 plus root 28 minus root 20 plus root 63. So let's just add some coefficients and pr try one last problem. What if it was 2 root 25 plus 5 root 28 minus 3 root 20 plus 2 root 63? Remember, step one is to ignore these coefficients, you know, kind of just leave them out there, and to simplify the individual radicals. If you remember, the square root of 125 simplified to be 5 root 5. The square root of 28 became 2 root 7. The square root of 20 was 2 root 5. And the square root of 63 was 3 root 7. Again, we did this earlier, so I'm not going to go over the steps to simplify it. So when you have these coefficients, you just sort of leave them out there on the end, remembering. And then, after you've simplified each radical, you can, or you have to multiply, two of these five root fives is 10 root fives, five of these two root sevens, is 10 root 7 minus 3 times 2, or 6 root 5 plus 6 root 7. Okay, so step 1, simplify. Step 2, do the multiply the actual um, initial coefficients by what was simplified out. And now the last step is exactly the same. Combine like radicals. 10 root 5 minus 6 root 5 is 4 root 5s. And we get 16 root 7s. Okay, that's it for this tutorial on adding square roots. There are several other practice problems worked out step by step on this webpage, mathwarehouse.com, slash add square root, plus an additional worksheet with the answer key.